moving on now to the second part of the audio line 341 and uh, we're going to move on to the receiver now this is a Uniden set using the PA 039AA board so that's used in Uniden UniAce 200 this the audio line 341 and the realistic 2000 the other thing I did by the way when I did the repair which I showed you when we were setting up the transmitter is that I've changed this capacitor and I've changed this capacitor now then I'll just tell you those locations because the 220 microfarad capacitors I've taken out here they are notorious they are, they've just gone in the bin they are notorious for failing and we've had sets come back and we do not want radios that bounce as you can well imagine being in this kind of business and that's because those capacitors are failing. It seems to me they're a 10 volt rating and that 10 volts doesn't appear to be quite um, adequate now these sets are 30 years old. The first one is capacitor 76 220 microfarads at 10 volts we replaced it of course for 220 microfarads at 16 volts and capacitor 102 again 220 microfarads at 10 volts and we replace it with 220 microfarads at 16 volts they're so cheap you know like 12 pence or something like that that may as well whenever these come in and um, they need a major service like this does a repair and a service in this one's case may as well change them I'm sure the customer would rather have another 24 pence on the bill um, instead of um, having to send it back and moaning so we'll move on to the receiver now. It's, as you can hear, it is working. The signal generator is on. Now I've folded up my notes into this service manual somewhere. Here we go. These are my notes. So we'll start with the first receive coil. The first receive coil is L6. Just again. As ever, I'm looking to side meter and an oscilloscope. That's fine. Numbers. The second one is L5. That's fine. The third one is L4. Just move tools. L4 is that one. And L3 is the next one. Little tiny bit of gain there. The next one, the fifth one is L2. Little bit of gain there. And then we have L1, which is L, which is the sixth receive one. That's fine. And then finally we'll do the detector. The detector is L19 which is that one there, we'll use a yellow tool and I'll put the signal generator with a huge signal on we'll switch the other camera so you can see the oscilloscope Let's adjust the gain on that so you can see a sensible trace and move my head out of the way so we're looking for maximum audio, recovered audio on that a bit more volume on that I think I'm having uh, it's twitching for some reason there we go that's set that and then while we've got the signal generator I'll turn that camera off while we've got the signal generator on that kind of level we'll set that to 100 microvolts and we'll make sure L9 uh, we'll make sure S9 is showing on the S meter in actual fact it's showing S5 so we'll adjust that the receive signal meter is that one which is VR1 we'll just pop that up a bit oh they'll be saying to me that radio you've done has got a lazy needle and there we go and now we'll move over to the squelch Let's see how well the squelch works 
right. Well, it works exactly how we want it to work. If we needed to adjust the squelch, it would have been VR2, which is there. I've always checked that we can put the squelch on full, and with the signal generator on full, that it will break through. There's nothing worse than sending a radio back where you turn the squelch on full and it never, ever opens. So that's always something to watch. Now we'll turn the signal generator right down. In fact, we'll turn it off. I'm going to turn the squelch right down so the radio hisses. Then we'll set threshold. And then we'll switch this, the signal generator back on. And that tracks how we want it to track. We'll now do a sensitivity check. Okay, well, this is very good. That's 0.3 of a microvolt. I've just knocked the signal generator. Yeah, about 0.25 of a microvolt. Very, very good, that. No wonder these sets are popular. The only thing they've really... You can moan about them is that they always were said to have basically transmitted audio. And of course, if you use a speech processor mic on that, it uh, would improve it. If you use a power mic on it, it will make it worse. I know there were lots of modifications at the time to improve that internally, but um, it's not something I would recommend. I'd rather use a speech processor mic and, and do it that way around. Okay, well, that now completes the set, so it's been repaired. With the problem with the um, phase lock loop, as I said, because the nut was missing from the cha channel selector, it had snapped some of the wiring. We've now aligned the transmitter, we've aligned the receiver, we check the VCO, and all it now needs is me to find a loudspeaker, probably off a scrap AM set, and uh, put the radio back together and air test it. So thanks for watching, I hope you found that uh, interesting.